Hi friends, this video is about what things do we need to make Captain America in the real world. Captain America is considered as the first Avenger and most respected top MCU superhero. Among his many other qualities his leadership skills and tenacity towards his sense of duty is unmatched to his peers. In MCU, this creation of Dr. Erskine, who was assassinated by Hydra after creating only superhuman Steve Rogers slash Captain America has these superpowers. Intensive close combat training and multiple weapon knowledge. Intensified stamina that makes him to not get tired or fatigued. Can run almost at a speed of 60 miles per hour. Superhuman strength and quick healing. Agility and reflexes. Armor can resist bullets, fire. Brilliant strategist and a leader, knows how to use his resources pretty well. Can sense weakness and plot holes of opponents quite well with his enhanced intelligence. Suspended aging, which makes him age so slowly that he survived being frozen for 70 years and still came out with similar age looks before he got frozen. In a nutshell that may complete what makes a cap, but the character and soul, even imaginative, is hard to imitate. Professor E. Paul Zare has already written a book chasing Captain America. To see if we can replicate this superhuman with science, engineering and biotech in today's world and how close we are. This video is also making a similar attempt to see if we can find one more pillar of humanity to say. I can do this all day. Here are a few ways. Physical and mental trait enhancement with gene modification. It is argued that Captain America is created with gene modification serum and Professor Zare is also in contention with that theory. According to him, gene therapy is the way to create the traits of intelligence, fearlessness, muscle strength, metabolism and performance. New technology known as CRISPR, which we have also covered in our video on how gene therapy is changing the world. Link in description, can be used to edit the DNA. This could allow scientists to rewrite the human genetic code and pump all those desirable traits. These formations may be injected in the form of a serum that could act as a cell transplant, where cells with desirable qualities get injected and expand themselves to take over current cellular structure. Let's take a few examples and expand on it. Glial cells Genetically altered glial cells depending on their subtypes can be injected into the forebrains of the subject. Glial cells are non-neuronal cells of the brain and nervous system. They have multiple subtypes each of its specialized function which provides physical and chemical support to neurons and maintain their environment. If genetically engineered glia transplanted with enhancing each subtypes can increase memory retention and reasoning capabilities without facing fatigue and injuries. Myostatin and active and inhibition. Two proteins known as myostatin and activin are work to suppress excess muscle growth in humans, thus keeping them within the normal limits. If these limitations could be turned off with the help of genetic editing, something close to super strength might be possible. Geneticists from Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine has genetically removed, knocked out, the gene encoding myostatin to make mighty mice that have approximately two times the muscle mass as normal mice. Blood doping. Blood doping can artificially improve physical endurance by increasing the amount of oxygen available to cells. Erythropoietin, EPO, a hormone produced by the kidney, increases red blood cell, RBC, mass and oxygen delivery to muscles, thus greatly aiding in endurance-related activities. With gene doping, EPO may be delivered to the subject by serum and the subsequent increased oxygen carrying capacity of the blood would increase the overall endurance performance. And you can also be in contention to win the Tour de France. Analgesic Production Genes The introduction of genes that produce analgesic or painkillers and caphalines and endorphins would raise the subject's pain threshold. Both acute and long-term injuries, as well as lactic acid buildup brought on by persistent physical exertion, would be treated by these genes with similar effectiveness. Lactic acid is produced when there is demanding physical activity and stress and it's a response that naturally makes you want to slow down and rest. These gene modifications can make the subject adapt to short periods of high lactic acid levels, which means they have increased tolerance for its uncomfortable effects. 
Other than these examples, there is research at Stanford University which proposes that genome editing tools can be delivered in the form of capsules and made to release their content when exposed to certain light wavelengths, like Vita rays that were blasted on cap when injected with serum. Gene modification has the potential to produce stronger, quicker, more energetic, and pain-resistant humans by giving talents beyond those that may be naturally obtained through food and exercise. Exoskeleton Exoskeletons are simply put as wearable machines that have capability of human augmentation. It can help increase strength and agility, reduce fatigue, minimize injury among many other benefits. It can be argued that this is more of a Iron Man feature than Captain America so as to other superheroes too but that features can be left out for another video, let's just concentrate on our cap at the moment. A few projects that we will discuss are in the defense sector. These projects are in flight that are going to take us closer to our own version of cap. Onyx. Manufactured by Lockheed Martin, this exosuit boosts strength and endurance in the individual. The suit is fitted with sensors that relay data on speed, direction and angle of movement to an onboarded computer and through this data it manages to decide when to engage electromechanical actuators. These actuators support the knee, and assist in knee flexion and extension. In other words, it will boost leg capacity and also keep it away from fatigue for physically demanding tasks. Talos or Tactical Assault Light Operator Suit This exosuit is designed to shield wearer from incoming gun fire in heavy battle conditions. These exoskeletons are load-bearing which means not only subjects can carry more weight but also increase their mobility. Apart from that it offers sensors that monitor body function with advanced medical tech, it also helps heal wounds by releasing wound clotting foam when needed. This is a full body armor like our cap wears. Fallout 4 has featured a Talos 2 exoskeleton mod whose properties are directly derived from the actual project. Zos 2. Raytheon developed exoskeleton suit is based on high pressure hydraulics that allow the wearer to lift heavy objects from the ratio of 17 to 1. It can deliver a force of 200 kg per square centimeter with the usage of hydraulics. So you do not want to be in front of the punch that came from this exosuit. Next in the line are implants. Implants. In our other video where Star War things that are available in real world. Link in description, we explain something called Luke Arm which in turn is called a bionic. This bionic can not only move with thought but apparently can sense the touch too, a boon for many amputees. Let's understand what this bionic means, bionic implants refer to parts that could be either electronic or mechatronic parts that can augment physical traits to a differently abled person. These bionics come at various levels, some can be implanted externally like Luke Arm or can be implanted internally maybe directly to the brain. There are movies which are inspired by this concept like Bionic Woman, Six Million Dollar Man, Robocop, Elysium, Ultron, Terminator. Ooh that one went far in future, but, you get the idea. Here are a few bionics that may make you augmented pretty close to our cap. Integrating Neuroscience Neuralink, a company formed by Elon Musk, is going to offer brain-machine interfacing, which in turn gives you access to unlimited knowledge and memory. Elon Musk's Neuralink initiatives aim to create enhancements to normally functioning brains which is increasing memory and processing speed, adding built-in cloud and internet access, and expanding our senses. It also wants to make us sort of immortal but storing our consciousness and re-uploading it with the aid of bionics. A version of this effort coincides with super memory and enhanced intelligence present in our cap. Digital Nervous System DNS. Brainchild of MIT Rockstars, this system will bypass the parts of nerves entirely using light, electricity or liquid metals. This blending of synthetic wiring and computational elements could reduce the reaction times by nearly 50 milliseconds. This change in reaction time will increase our reflexes and we can also map the trajectory of a bullet shot far away and even dodge it. Regenerative Body Parts The program with DNS also seeks to regenerate organs and body parts. It will soon replace the body parts that have exhausted their use, and be replaced with enhanced versions of them be it limbs or brain parts. 
This could be seen as more of an upgrade of various body parts and may end up redesigning humans to a point where they could be seen as a miniature version of superhero they want Don the avatar of, maybe even Captain America. Honorary Mention Bionic Robots In the movie, Real Steel in 2011, they have shown how our miniature stature control a giant robot which are eventually used robot mixed martial arts with either shadowing the controller or advanced programs. Will we see a persona in robots? In the movie they also shows how a lower generation robot Adam, which is used as a sparring or hitting partner or advanced robots to learn, comes out on top just with his sheer willpower, grit and not giving up attitude apart from his controller's belief. Will our Captain America of the future be a bionic robot with an advanced exoskeleton and organic matter with the most susceptible and robust genes? We leave it to your thoughts and comments. Hope you like this video, if you made it so far then please consider subscribing.